program where we uh, you're conducting evaluations on Chinook salmon. Our next piece of interest is the coho salmon. Um, and the objectives of that project are twofold. One is to evaluate two stocking strategies. Every year, as this was just talking about, we stock both spring yearlings and then we stock fall fingerlings. If you stock the fall fingerlings at five locations along Lake Ontario, we stock all the spring yearlings at the Sand River Hatchery or at the Sand River to try to maintain our root stock. And the question is, is which provides uh, a better return? And then our secondary question to that would be, since we're stocking all these fall fingerlings at five locations along the lake, are those fish imprinting to those sites or are they all coming back to the hatchery? So we're going to find out what their relative survival is, what the relative imprinting is. And then the second question is uh, what the relative proportion of wild versus hatchery fish are, are in the lake. So in order to determine that, we clipped, adipose clipped all of the coho salmon in Lake Ontario, again using our mass marking uh, trailer. Um, so both the fish that, that Ontario stocks and the fish that New York stocks were all clipped and uh, The adipose clip is that one fin right there that the arrow is pointing to. Um, that's the fin that's going to be removed. Uh, we started this project in 2016 and that's continuing until 2018. Those are, that's when we actually clipped and tagged the fish. So we take that fin off, the one that the arrow is pointing to, that's the adipose fin. If you if this year, those fish that we started clipping in 2016 are going to be in the lake as two year old. So the majority of the coho in the lake are two years old. So any coho you catch that are in the eight to 10 pound class or that, that mature size coho is, you can look at it and tell whether it's, um, whether it's clipped or not. And that'll tell you whether it's a wild fish or not. Um, so we're, as part of that project, we're asking anglers to contribute um, some data to, to the project. Um, we have our, our fishing boat creel that we do every year, so they'll be collecting samples. I'll be visiting tournaments um, and cleaning stations throughout the year. But we'd like uh, the help of anglers as well, and there's instructions provided out in handouts uh, out at the table um, outside um, with more detail. But what we'd like you to do is cut the whole head off and then place in the bag, no capture location, so the port that you're fishing out of, the date, whether it has that fin or not, if it just click yes or no, or the apples clip, and then uh, the fish length, and that's measured from the tip of the, the snout to the end of the tail, and if you can, lay that thing on a, on a flat measuring board and just squeeze the tail a little bit to get that, that length, that's the way we do it. Um, and then the collector's name on the bag label, and then just throw that in the freezer. And if that's too much trouble, or if you forget to collect the, the link, um, or you don't know whether it has a clip or not when you capture it, I'd still like the head. And just don't put that data down. Um, if you can't recall it, I'd rather not even try to recall it. I'd rather just, uh, if you don't know it at a capture time, then just leave that data. Yeah, yeah. That